Yeah, there are several steps that you need to take to make sure that you and your family, your home and your pets are safe in the event of a hurricane or other storm in your area. First of all, let's deal with your family because that's obviously the most important. If you're inside your home, know which rooms are the safest to protect yourself against flying debris or uh, any incoming water, things like that. If you're outside of your home, have a, a location several miles away that all family members can uh, meet up at in case your home is uh, un inaccessible. And in the event communications are down in your area, make sure that you have an out of state contact someone that does not live in the area uh, that, uh, that all your family members can call that way you can check in find out who has checked in uh, and again with with communications down uh, you can really do a lot of worrying if you don't have those safeguards in place now with regard to your home the National Hurricane Center has actually made some suggestions with regard to construction and or remodeling that you can do to make your home safer again in the event of a hurricane or or other storm uh, in your area the first being storm uh, windows and doors uh, these are actually impact resistant materials. Now these are a from a company called Simonton. They're storm breaker doors and windows. You can see they're resisting both two by fours and the swings of a baseball bat. Essentially the way they work, it's a layered glass system. An outer layer of glass will absorb that impact. And what you want to make sure of is that this is not compromised. This inside layer of glass will not be compromised. Uh, that way water and wind cannot infiltrate your home. That's what does all the damage. Once the wind gets in, uh, inside, builds up that air pressure inside your home, it gets the water in and that's where you get all the damage. By installing these and again retrofitting your home with these, you can prevent a lot of that from happening. Let's take a look at some other impact tests. Now the first one you're going to see is a 2x4 through vinyl siding. We kind of figured that would happen. That's fiber cement siding there. And finally, brick. All right, <laughs> speaks for itself. Now, when it comes to the roof structure of your home, you can't put brick on it, but the second best thing would be a cement tile. These are actually cement roof tiles. A company called Hansen puts these out, and they come in several designs, a, kind of a Spanish tile here, and also a, a slate look here. You take a look and see how they look on a home. Number one, they are impact resistant to that 34 mile an hour rating. They have a high uh, fire resistant rating as well. It's just a structural component that you can have to make sure that you don't get that roof structure compromised. That can be the issue. Now, these are a product called AquaPave. I wanted to bring this up because flooding can be such a huge issue, uh, especially, well, in, in any rain event, obviously. You see that draining off rather quickly. These AquaPave pavers actually allow water to pass uh, through at the rate of 177 inches per hour. That is over 200 times the time, uh, 200 times the amount needed to survive a 24-hour storm. A lot of times, uh, with your driveway, things like that, even rooftops will shed a lot of water. They land on your driveway or paved areas of your home, and that runoff continues. That causes the flooding. If you have pervious materials like these that allow that water to go through and sink into the ground, you're reducing the flooding in and around your home, which is a which is a great help. Now, the largest uh, opening in your home is going to be the garage door. If that is compromised, again, you can get that wind and that uh, the air pressure and the water up inside your home. That can cause the damage. The guys over at Overhead Door Corporation were reminding me to tell you that make sure that you can get these uh, integrated struts inside your door that, that will resist, uh, the again, that, uh, that uh, air pressure from a storm. You want to make sure that door does not uh, get compromised. If it has windows, make sure they're impact resistant and make sure you have your track inspected annually because if uh, the door is impact resistant but the track isn't firmly secured, obviously the whole system can give way. With regard to power, make sure that you have a standby power source. Old generators that uh, ran off gas, uh, just regular gas cans, things like that, and you had to wheel them out of your garage. Kind of a thing of the past. Uh, at the Builder's Show, I saw these from Kohler. These are actually standby generators that are permanently installed. They run off natural gas or propane, so you don't have to worry about the, uh, the power source for the generator. And with the composite materials, they can withstand the harsh conditions of storms. Plus, they can run things like your HVAC system, uh, major appliances, things like that, all the comforts of your home, plus any equipment that you need to run to get your home repaired. And it's uh, for several, just a, a few thousand dollars, not the twenty or thirty thousand dollars from years past. Emergency kits, make sure you have plenty of water, canned food, obviously can opener to open that canned food, medications, both prescription and non-prescription in a watertight container. And finally, make sure that you have a picture, a current picture of your pet. All right, in the event of an emergency, if you get separated from your pet, you want to make sure that you can post, obviously, pictures. And if possible, make sure your pet has a collar with identification on it. That way, if your pet is located uh, and turned into the pound or, or to a veterinarian, you can identify the pet and they can reconnect you all. Keep your family, your pets, and your home safe. More great tips. Back to you.